Hey guys, this is Mike here, Forward Talk TV, and I want to talk a little bit about um, these Nicaraguans here um, that I'm breeding this year. And as you see, you see this right here, guys. There's um, a little bit of a court session going on in there. That's the female's tail, tail down there on the bottom, and the male's tail is right there wrapped around hers. You can kind of see it right there on top of hers, and he is. Um, Either he's either locked up with her right now or he's attempting to lock up with her. He is trying to get underneath her tail uh, right now, I'm pretty sure. But um, he's been going now. I took him out for three days, gave him a three day rest. Tried to feed him another rat, but um, he would not take it. So, what we're going to do now, guys, is um, after he had his rest, we're going to put him back in for another probably four or five days and then we're going to take him back out try to offer him another rat and um, if he does not take it what we'll do is we will give him another rest for three days we'll put him back in for another four or five day go and that and offer him one more chance to take a rat and if he did not take a rat at that point we would probably retire him for the season guys just because I do not want him to overbreed himself and um, hurt himself or possibly breed himself to death guys which uh, some males have done especially young males really do that but um, he's an older male but he just really wants to go and ever since I've paired him with this Nicaraguan female it's almost like he's been working overtime with her guys I don't know if he senses that it's the same locality boa same subspecies locality per se as, as him and it's maybe wanting to make him, it's maybe inducing him to want to mate more. I'm not sure, guys, but he's working really, really hard. With her. And, um, you see that he's trying to get on her right now. You can see the tails. But, um, so, with these two, like I said, so what we'll do is he's going to stay in now for another four days. I just put him back today. We'll take him out. We'll try to do the rat and the rest thing again. If he doesn't take the rat, we'll give him the rest. We'll put him back in. We'll take him back out after another five days. We'll offer him a second chance at a rat. If he did not take it, he'll probably get retired So, uh, for the season. Because he has been in here already with her. He was in here for well over a week, locking up every day. Then I took him out. And now he's back in. He's going to stay in for about another week. And then I'm going to take him out and then put him back in for another week at that. So... Uh, if he does not eat for me in the next two weeks, he'll probably get retired, but even if he does, I'm still going to feel comfortable with uh, maybe getting a litter from these two because he will have um, three to push in four weeks of um, good mating time with her. And every time he's in there, he's wasting no time locking up like he is now. But um, yeah, guys, so... We're hoping to get some Nicaraguans, and, uh, some Nicaraguan dwarfs, and Nicaraguan dwarfs is a mainland dwarf um, species from Nicaragua, and Nicaragua is one of the seven Central American countries. So yeah, guys, and what I really love about Nicaraguans is their darker colors. They're um, they're really, really, really beautiful boas. They uh, they usually eat great. Uh, males tend to slow down eating during the breeding season and they don't get really really big guys uh, my male hair is about five foot maybe a couple inches um, and my female is about six foot a couple inches longer say and they're both um, you know the female is pushing I want to say eight and a half nine years old and the male is pushing uh, seven years old so yeah guys um, but boas are a long-lived species. We talked about that in the first episode of Boa Talk TV. Um, boas can live upwards of 30-plus um, years. And if you keep your boas healthy and you breed, and you don't breed them every year, guys, you always if you give them a year off in between litters and breed them every two years, um, boas can breed up until their early teens and still have decent-sized litters, guys. So... A friend of mine, uh, his boa last year had a nice, decent litter, 21 babies, and um, the boa is 13 years old, and he is going to breed her one last time, not this year, but the year after, she'll be 15, and I bet you she'll still do 18 to 20 babies.
And but this is Mike from Ball and Boas, and I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the Nicaraguan pair and let you know what was going on and basically there's some courting going on so we will keep you guys updated on the other channel Ball and Boas but um, until then uh, follow us subscribe to us and uh, you know leave comments and we're going to be doing a, another free BOA giveaway for BOA Talk TV uh, we're going to do a 250 subscriber giveaway for a BOA but we're also guys we're also going to be doing a 150 subscriber giveaway guys so I'm going to be giving away a free BOA for 150 subscribers and I'll be giving away a free BOA for 250 subscribers guys so um yeah guys so like us subscribe us comment follow us and um who knows guys you could be receiving a uh, free boa but this is mike from boa talk tv saying until the next time peace